Hello. Yeah. What's your name? Naib sir. Naib. Uh, so can you introduce yourself about us sir? My name is Naib Pasha. Basically I am from Nillur. Currently staying in Hyderabad. Uh, I recently completed my graduation in the stream of BCA in uh, uh, St. Mary's Degree College with an aggregate percentage of 8.5. Uh, my technical skills are Python along with uh, HTML and CSS. And my soft skills are I'm doing communication, uh, problem solving skills. And my hobbies are uh, I like to travel and uh, I like cooking. Uh, and my goals are uh, uh, I want to join an IT sector. And my long term goal is to get to 10x growth in my life. Okay. So you said uh, you like cooking. Yes, sir. So which recipe you like? I like uh, biryani. Like you do biryani? Yes, sir. Are you sure? Yes, sir. Okay, then I'll also try to eat one. Alright. Okay. So, right, you mentioned here uh, about uh, your Python skills, okay? Yes, sir. Okay. So, right. So, like, since how long time you are learning Python? Learning uh, three and a half months, sir. Four months. So, do you have any certifications in Python? Yes, sir. Which certification do you have? Magnet software, Python software. So, like you assume that, uh, uh, like let us take one variable, okay. Yes. So, something like you know, a equal to some 25, yes. okay. Now, I want to convert that variable into a floating point number. So, how to do that? Can you tell me? We have a float, sir, mm -hmm. uh, float function. Mm -hmm. uh, we can use float by using the float function, we can convert, sir. Mm -hmm. Suppose a equal to 25, then b equal to float of. Uh, yeah, uh, a of 25, mm -hmm. then print uh, b in the converse. That will give you the mm -hmm. floating mm -hmm. point, sir. Is it possible to convert a string into an integer? String, sir? Yes, sir. How can you tell me? Uh, by using length function. Length will give you only number of characters. Yes, but it will not change the data type, no? Yes, so can I express a string into an integer? Yes, no, sir. Is it not possible? No. Okay. Yes, okay. Okay, that's good. Right. So, reverse can I do? Can I express the number in the form of a string? Yes, sir. Are you sure? Yes, sir. So, how to do that? We will reverse, sir. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, no. How to convert an integer into string? I want to express my integer into string. Yes, sir. So, how to do so that? We take an a equal to string, then b equal to uh, string of int mm -hmm. that number, sir. Okay. Mm -hmm. No problem. So, do you have idea on operators, Python yes, operators, sir. right? Can you tell me what exactly that uh, module operator will do? Person tell you. Yes, sir. Yeah. What it will do? Why we use module operator? Okay. Yes, sir. What about double slash? Why we use double slash? Use uh, reminders. Reminder? Yes, sir. What quotient? Think. Double slash, sir. Hmm. Yes, sir, quotient, sir. Quotient. What is the difference between using single slash and double slash? Uh, it will give uh, it will decimal points in doesn't give the decimal points. Sir. Okay. In double slash it will give one. Then what percentile will do? You told already, it gives reminder. Yes, sir. Okay. Right. Okay. So for example, <coughs> there is a case, like I will give one string to you. Okay. So just I want to know like number of words. I want to count them. Any random string user will enter. You are assuming like this. Okay? Then I want to count the number of words in that. So how to do this? Can you explain the logic to me? We, use, uh, we have count function, sir. Uh -huh. Number of words, sir. Hmm. For example, I am learning Python. Let me see. So in that, how many words are there? I is one, am is one, okay? Then learning, then Python. There are four words, right? So like that. So how to do that code? Just explain me the logic. Okay. So do you know about uh, like uh, extend function? Where we use extend? Extend where we use in list. Can you tell me why we use extend? If you, if you want the characters, uh, number of them, mm -hmm. then we use actually. Okay. See, two lists are there, mm -hmm. list A, list B. List A is having elements 1, 2, 3. Okay? Mm -hmm. I am repeating once again. Mm -hmm. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3 is the elements, are the list, elements in the list A. Then X, Y, Z are elements in list B. Okay? Now I will say A plus B. What is the output? Uh, it will give 
to give one to three then uh, in list of give you under uh, four five what is the output of b plus a if i take b first then a later then then b first uh, four four five six is first then one to three will come okay now if i write a dot extend of b what is the output it will extend on uh, hmm. uh, this case then you did say what extend will you uh, okay no issue right? okay so tell me uh, how many ways uh, we can remove an element from a list pop uh, pop is one next hmm. remove remove next hmm. okay right hmm. so pop remove you told uh, can you tell me what is the difference between using the pop and remove uh, if you use pop uh then the output will be if you uh, if you have uh, one, one two three four five if you, if you pop the uh, fourth uh, index number four then it only use the that uh, that only one character mm -hmm. but in uh, remove it will uh, remove that character uh, then it gives uh, remaining characters mm -hmm. so like what is the fundamental difference between using this pop and remove what do you find Whatever you said is correct. This time observing, uh, I'm asking, what is your observation there? In using pop and so, which one you prefer? For example, I will say I uh, you remove. Okay, like this is my question. Okay, so like uh, there are list, there is a list with five elements, and I say you remove, uh, you remove the first element. So which one you prefer? You prefer remove, sir. Remove you prefer. Why? But uh, if you, I want to remain characters. Uh, I want to. But I prefer first. pop. Yes, sir. I will prefer pop. So why? Tell me. Why you want to prefer remove? Because, because you don't know what is first element. Yes, sir. You don't know what is first yes, element. Sir. Then you have to use index. Yes, so index means you have to remove through pop. Yes, yes. yes, sir. So if you want to remove an element with an index, then you have to use pop. pop. Yes, if element value is known, mm -hmm. then you can directly remove this. That is the difference between those two. Okay. So do you have idea on uh, file handling in Python? Yes, sir. Can you tell me what is the uh, file classification according to Python? Uh, in, uh, in basically, uh, we programmers are uh, programmers are using uh, with a large number of uh, data. Uh, if you want large number of data, we use files. That is okay. What are the types? Types in files. Types, uh, uh, text uh, text files and binary files. Can you tell me what do you mean by text file? What text is the binary file? Text file means uh, we use basic uh, small small text uh, small images uh, mm -hmm. uh, small. Small audios. If you use binary, it will large the amount of data. Uh, for example, graphics, large number of videos, etc. Okay. All right. Good. And uh, for example, there is a number which is repeated three times in a list. Okay. There is a number which is repeated three times in a list. And I want to repeat. I want to delete. The same element which is repeated second time. Let me say I have a list with ten comma ten comma ten. I want to remove the middle ten. How to do that? Things, sir. Number, number, number. So just now you told you can use any pop or yes, index. Uh, so remove. Uh, so which one you want to remove, remove? sir? Uh, I use remove. Give the number and uh, mm -hmm. in remove you give the number, then it will be But first that thing. will be removes only first, first instance. instance. Uh, but I want second. First should be like as it is. How to remove the middle one? Give index. Yes, index. You are right. So you have to specify the index. So yes, which function you have to use to specify the index? Index. Pop. Right. Okay. All right. So can you tell me how many programs you have uh, practiced maybe as part of your course? Approximately, approximately one fifty. You have written one fifty. Okay, right. So, which tool you have used? Which ID tool you have used? Addition. Okay. Addition on Python. So, okay. I want to say, like, ask you to give uh, one program. So, why can't you write a program? Okay. So please go there. Take the marker and then. Okay. So, assume that uh, you take any number, yes, sir. And I want you to check the whether that number is an Armstrong number is not. Okay. okay so, can you, first of all, you tell me what do you mean by Armstrong number? What I'm sure means uh, if you take 153, 1 cube plus 5 cube plus 3 cube equal to that number sir, 153. Mm -hmm. Then it is Armstrong number. Okay. So now you write a code for that. Yes.
Yeah. So can you explain me what exactly you did? So we take the number sir. Okay. Then we take a sum equal to zero, a dummy sum. Mm -hmm. Then we convert to the number into mm -hmm. length sir. Mm -hmm. uh, then we take temp equal to num. Mm -hmm. Then we use condition. If temp not equal to zero, then then this is equal to temp. Which is ten. It gives the last number. Okay. Uh, gives three. Mm -hmm. uh, then uh, 150 uh, sum plus are equal to digit uh, mm. power L mm. uh, length equal to 3 sir yes then 153 cubes. Uh, cube right next 3 cube correct. equal uh, temp, that is correct uh, temp equal to temp double star uh, then it gives the first two numbers okay then uh, then it will be repeat mm. uh, uh, until the condition satisfy mm. the condition uh, if the sum equal to num, then it will print the Amstrom number. If uh, else it will print the Amstrom. Good, good. Okay. So, right. Uh, another I will give you. Like, you assume that, Asha, you know how to find out the distance between two points, right? Yes, sir. You know formula, what is the formula for that? Square root of uh, uh, x1 minus x2 whole square plus y1 minus whole square. Yeah, that's, of course, we have studied from our school levels. Yes, sir. Okay, right. So, now I want you to write that program. Okay, so let me say you take two numbers. So your program has to calculate uh, the distance between those two, okay? But I want you to write that program using OOPS concept. Can you write it? Yes, sir. Do it. Rough it and do it. Yeah, explain me. Sir, if you if you want to uh, square square the uh, use a square word, mm -hmm. then we, we use import math. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then uh, then we define a class called mm -hmm. point. Then we use a in, init constructor in a user defined function. Uh, self is a, a default parameter, mm -hmm. and we take uh, two objects. Then we convert into self dot x because it is uh, will convert globally. Mm -hmm. uh, then we then we use method mm -hmm. uh, cell, uh, as square root of uh, self x other x. Mm -hmm. Then uh, then we call the function. Uh, it is a uh, self uh, instance is p one other instance is p two. Then we will print the distance. That is good. So I can other end also get that. Can I use uh, uh, like you know self and what a chapter code? Yes sir. Can I use self? Or no, sir. Use self no sir. Self. Shall I use self and self to like this? 
other than carbon tar. Yes, sir, we can use sir. Can use. Yes, sir. Right? Okay, good. Come and see us. Okay. So right, that's fine. You have written uh, programs in nice manner. Okay. Yes, sir. So good. Okay. So let us start. Now let us adjust like uh, one more question I would like to say. Yes, okay. See, I have given a string. Okay. So like uh, I want to find out the middle character. So can you tell me how to find that? Uh, uh, we in the string we use index uh, index number. When, when we view the uh, index number, then we will find out. But uh, you assume that if there are five characters, then yes, middle number you can find out. Yes, if there are six characters in the string, then how will you do that? What is the meaning of middle character? Yes. Okay, no issue. Right. So that's good. Fine. Uh, let us stop at this point, right? Okay. Okay. Now, just like you know, uh, I would like to give small feedback to you. Okay. So your uh, your program is in case good. Okay. So because uh, especially uh, it seems you have a good command and object oriented programming. Yes. Okay. So you have written in nice manner. Uh, but the thing is that uh, your communication still needs to be improved. Yes. Okay. The way you uh, like speak, the way you give answers. Okay. Your intention is good. You have, your approach is positive. You have got a good positive approach. At the same time. The same positive approach should be conveyed in terms of the language also. Okay. So it is better if you can improve it, then you will get a very nice job. And I wish you all the best for your future. Okay. So good luck. Bye.